<laughs> Third company that we're watching today is Lockheed and Boeing. For more on that, Brooke Sutherland, Bloomberg Opinion Collins, joins us now. And still with us is Mona Mahajan of Allianz Global Investors. So a shift between Boeing and Lockheed here with the Defense Department. It is. And so the Defense Department is making a $7.8 billion investment in Boeing's F-15. They're talking about producing eight of these planes this year and then stepping up to 18 going through 2024. Remember, this is a plane that was first released in the 1970s. It exactly. was used in Vietnam. This is not necessarily cutting edge technology. Obviously, they've made some updates to this, but the F-35 is really supposed to be the modern fighter jet. Hmm. Now, what they're saying is it's not necessarily that the procurement costs are that different. It's just that the F-35 is so expensive to operate and that it doesn't necessarily have the space on board to carry the type of weapons that they're looking to put on these planes. And so that's really how they're sort of explaining their thinking. You know, it's a reach, a big reach. But you go back to President Trump tweeting about how complicated the civilian airlines are No, I don't think it's getting. a reach at all. You know, I think th this F-35 is an amazing aircraft, but it's sort of so complicated. Right. And remember, he actually has pushed back at times yeah. on the F-35 on the cost of this program, which has had so many cost overruns, so many delays, complications, and he has not been a big fan of that. And actually, he was sort of the one that kickstarted this call to invest in the Boeing F-15. And so now you're seeing some of that play out. Now, we are already getting political pushback, particularly from the states where the F-35 is developed. That's Texas yeah. and Alaska. And remind me who the acting Secretary of Defense is. Patrick Shanahan. And what did he do? He worked at Boeing. Yeah, so for he, many years. There, are, there is a lot of overlap there.